this is my use effect and this is console log that comes from my use effect and also the reason why I almost always wrap functions that I export from my custom hooks using use callback. Let's explore closer. So here we have a very contrived example, but I tried to base it on something I faced not that long ago at work. So we have this custom hook called use problematic of that handles more or less all the logic of, of the authentication. It provides us with login function, logout function, whether the user is online and possibility to fetch extra user details if we want to. We use all of that stuff here. And then in the use effect, this particular consumer of the hook decides that, okay, when, I, uh, when the user goes online, I want to fetch some extra details about that user and then print them to the screen. And this is how we get that issue that when we go online, we get this thing. So why there are so many renders? Well, the answer is simple because we use this function in the dependency array. And um, so what happens is that if we go inside the hook itself, we see that the function is defined, but it's not wrapped in use callback hook. Since it's not wrapped in the use callback hook, every time this function runs, all of these functions, fetch user details, login and logout, they will be recreated or reinitialized, redeclared, whatever you call it. So we will get a new reference to each one of those functions and we will export those references from our custom hook. And then we will use them as a dependency because we want that when the user goes online, we want to fetch details and then we want to set user so that we can visualize it here. When we're going to set state that will cause this component to re-render, which will rerun this use problematic auth, which will redeclare all the functions inside. And that's how we get our issue. Since we will say that fetch user details has changed and the dependency um, and the dependency array works basically by comparing references in terms, if we talk about um, objects and functions and arrays. So when we talk about those, those are compared by reference where they point at, right? So when the function is redeclared, the dependency array see new function, and then it reruns, set the state, which caused this component to render again, the runs this function, creates this function again, this is new function, and so on and so forth. If we move use effect here inside the use problematic, this is what ESLint gonna tell us by saying that fetch user details function makes the dependency of the use effect hook change on every render. And we need to wrap it in the use callback. So now I imported the fixed version of that hook called just use auth. I do not change any single line of code here. So the consumer continue to use it exactly the same way as they used before. And then when, the, when we go online, we fetch the user details, we visualize them, but we do not cause this infinite loop of rendering. So we can log out, we can log in again, and the information will be fetched as expected. And this is the personal. So if we'll take a look at the use effect closer, we will see that the only thing I did, I wrapped every function I export from my custom hook with use callback so that the function will be redeclared only when any type of dependencies of that function change. Of course, another way would be if the function would not be defined inside the hook at all, but that's not always possible because sometimes your function depends on information available only inside your custom hook. So that's why you need to define them inside the custom hook. And that's why, in my opinion, you would most probably always want to wrap every function return from your custom hook with use callback, just to make sure that your clients or consumers of your custom hook whether it's you or your friends at work, that they can that they can not worry and use 
that custom hook in the expected way. They could add it as a dependency. They can pass this function then into MMOI's components and be sure that those functions do not change every time something renders. There are great amount of other videos on YouTube that goes into probably other examples of using use callback. But generally the rule of thumb is that there are two use cases when you want to use it. When you will use a function in a dependency array or when you pass the function as a property to a component that will be memoized. These are the two use cases for the use callback. So if someone says that you need to wrap every single function you write inside your components or custom hooks in use callback, this is bullshit, don't do that. But if you pass them as a property to the memoized component or you create a custom hook and you return those functions so they can be used by consumers, since I, as an author of the hook, I don't know how exactly that function will be used. If it's not used in the dependency array, then it will be fine even without wrapping it with use callback. But if they put that in the dependency array, then it would be a problem if I don't wrap inside the use callback for them. Thank you for watching and I hope that was useful.